Jessica Simpson. Wow. Fuck the haters, girl. You are, without a doubt, one of the most exquisitely beautiful women on this planet. Yeah, did I say that correctly? Anyhow, everybody thinks they're pigs compared to a Kendra Wilkinson. Fact, she had to work her ass off to get there. And, fact, all you'd have to do, girl, is put lots of that white powder into water. Make it very, very sweet. Turn it into lemonade iced tea coffee like my uncle did and four months later you'll be like him 62 pounds gone vanished yeah he had six breast tumors so you know if you know anybody that has them too stevia vanishes it all right don't let the fact that it looks like cocaine throw you don't let the fact that when used like cocaine it kicks cocaine's ass because that's a major story okay a good attorney suing in federal court, I think could get all nonviolent, at least cocaine possession offenses overturned. Can you imagine the joy their families would experience if that happened before Christmas? Yeah. And fact, who's talking to you, girl? If it's not for Lucifer Lou Holtz, monster extraordinaire, uh, Everybody in America knows who the fuck I am. I'm a white LT. You're looking at potentially the best linebacker, at least the best white linebacker, Dick Buckus. No disrespect, but fact, that kid could fly. He could cover Alan Pinkett man for man because he had jets straight up uh, and shut that brother down. Speak on it, Alan. And fact, Jessica, since you dated Tony, I bet you know a lot of football guys. Ask them what they would do in Dan Quinn's shoes. It's fourth and inches. Everybody in the fucking stadium knows they're going up the middle, okay? I'm thinking quarterback sneak. I'm thinking there's a slight possibility I might get a shot if the guy fucking decides to jump for it because, yeah, um, I can jump too. And, well, I mean, not like, you know, Michael Jordan, but I jumped there and got him and shit. And so... When I get ordered to stay home and look for a sweep, I'm like, fuck this. I'm not selling my teammates out. And but like this, girl, I know what I've done. I'm thinking up in the fucking press box. They're like, what a cool motherfucking customer because I don't jump up and down and fucking you know, hold the ball up like Brandy Wells does when he didn't do a fucking thing. If not for me, they got six points. And I get fired for it, girl. Straight up. They don't mention my name, girl. And... Now I'm on the fourth team. So ask Tony and all his football playing friends, you know, one, what they think of a 6'3", 235-pound white linebacker that can bench 405 pounds naturally his senior year in high school is fucking, you know what, uh, got jets, girl. I mean, can fucking absolutely fly. Can hang with black guys, all right? Um, yeah, and straight up. If I hit the NFL and I'm saying the same things like I said to Muhammad Ali, you know, cool, feeding the poor in another country after we feed all the poor in America first. Do you think that would have caught on? Or do you think maybe that was one of the reasons they held me back and shit? Anyways, Jessica, what I'm saying is if I don't quit football, if I don't make that decision, everybody in America knows me now. So when I come out and say that, yes, you too can sit on your ass, eat like a pig, and be damn near as fucking lean and ripped as you were, or if you never were, it'll get you there. And, uh, yeah, that's not fiction. Kendra, since you know Hugh, <laughs> uh, did it again. Anyhow, uh, tell you what, girl, the violin actually does upgrade the Kama Sutra. Seriously. Pressing on the G spot like it's the end of the yang, the fingers touching. It's like it's compressing, polarizing that area. It equals about an orgasm plus per minute. Yeah, you can go two or three even uh, for two hours. I've hit triple digits before. I'm not the only one. Joe H. U. in the Boston Worcester area calls it the levitator because pelvises come off beds in workouts and attack faces.
Can you tell Hugh about that? And I wanted to be on his All American. <laughs> I'll tell you what, girl. I wanted to be on Hugh's All American team very, very badly. I dreamt about it, girl. And in fact, I get fired for making that play. And I quit football on the spot. I chose boxing. You know what? There's another story there. And in fact, if that kid doesn't quit football, there are a lot of coaches that are alive today that have had funerals. Because, fact, with my connections, I'm having them done, man. Uh, too many asshole coaches that deserve to be murdered and said, fuck this game. I quit.